Hey everybody, happy Wednesday, August 17th. <laughs> I have a little calendar right down there at the bottom of my thing that reminds me what day it is. Anybody else have a hard time <laughs> remembering what day it is? Um, thanks for joining me today for Coffee and a Card. I'm back at that place where the mornings just aren't working out for me. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to do Coffee and a Card um, in the afternoons. Um, I'm just not seeming to get it together for the morning coffee and a card. So I've got some iced tea, some peach tea, crystal light. Um, I found it in my cupboard and I thought, oh, that sounds kind of good. So I mixed up a bunch of that for this afternoon. Um, let me turn the camera around. Today we're going to use a product from the... Um, celebration brochure. This brochure lasts through the end of this month and we're going to use the Hippest Hippos stamp set and the Hippo dies and you can get both of those. They coordinate with each other. Um, one, uh, you get the stamp set with a $50 purchase and then if you purchase $100 you can get two $50 items so you can get both the stamp set and the hippo dies <clears throat> or place two fifty dollar orders remember when you place a hundred and fifty dollar order that you qualify you start qualifying for host rewards which is money um, to spend on product so um, keep that in mind too and if you have any questions about that let me know all right this is the card we're going to make i've been seeing these around it is a I hope I'm on here correctly. If you're here, say hello. <laughs> I'm always hoping I am not, whoops, I am not on my personal page. I would die, y'all, if that happened. <laughs> anyway, this is an accordion fold card that we're going to make. And it is a half of a sheet of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. I'm using Fresh Freesia. And it is five and a half inches or four and a fourth wide by 11 inches long. But when you fold it up, it's kind of a note card size. And I discovered that it fits perfectly in our note card envelopes. In our annual catalog, you can order a pack of 20 um, note cards and envelopes. And this envelope is perfect for this accordion size card. Or you can also put it just in your regular um, A2 card size envelope. Um, this card is so easy to make and it's kind of fun. I created it with one of my granddaughters in mind. She has a birthday at the end of the month. And I thought these Hippos Tippos were the cutest. She is a gymnast. So this will work really good for her. The paper I'm using is the Butterfly Kisses paper from the annual catalog. I love the bright colors in this paper. And when I was looking through my paper stash, I thought it would really make a cute little um, card with our Hippest Hippos stamp set. Um, I'm going to use the stamp set and the dies today. So what you're going to do, I'm going to pull out my, hi Stacy, I'm going to pull out my um, paper trimmer and extend the arm <clears throat> because we are going to score this 11 on the 11 inch side. So this is basically a half a sheet of eight and a half by 11. It's four and a fourth by 11. And we're going to score it on the 11 inch side at one and a half. So I'm going to just use my trimmer and my scoring blade. Three, five and a half, and eight. And that's all the scoring we're going to do. 
Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. Okay, now the folding is kind of weird. So we're going to make a valley fold here, which that's a valley, and then a mountain fold here. A mountain fold, wait a minute. Yes. Doop, doop. A valley fold here, and then a mountain fold here. So it's going to look like an accordion. So valley, mountain, valley, mountain, or mountain, valley, mountain, valley. And then it'll close up like this. And I left this one blank. We could put some paper there. That'd be awfully cute. Um, Stacy's glad you're in the afternoon today so I can watch. Took a break from working on my scrapbook to watch you. Oh, good. I'm glad you're scrapbooking. Okay, now for the designer series paper, I cut three pieces. I thought I cut three pieces. Y'all, I guess I only cut two pieces. Um, I get carried away. That's okay. We will, we will um, fix that here in a second. I'm going to put my sentiment card or my greeting card right here because I want this paper to show. I love that print and I wanted all three prints. I used three different prints from that paper and I just thought that was so fun. And then I've got this piece. This piece measures two and three fourths by uh, four and an eighth. This measures two and a fourth by four and an eighth. And this piece, as soon as we cut it, will measure uh, one and a fourth by four and an eighth. Just when you think you have it all together. I'm going to make sure I don't have a scrap over here. No. I hate cutting a full sheet of paper if I have a scrap that will work, right? So we're going to use this cute little butterfly print and we're going to cut it at one and a fourth. And four and an eighth. I'm going to do it this way. I don't know that it makes a difference. Okay, I'm done with that paper. Now, I think this card is all about the paper. I think it's so pretty. Let's put our butterflies the right way. Um, we could just make this card with the greeting and call it good, in my opinion, because I think it, it's just so fun. But we're going to do a little extra. It's fun to be a little extra. I'm going to stamp my greeting on that before I glue it down. I'm using my multi-purpose liquid glue. I just kind of prefer a liquid glue these days as opposed to um, the adhesive um, tape. Okay. So that's that. That's what it'll look like when it's um, folded up. Now let's stamp our greeting. I use the You're So Hip. Um, I thought that was a fun little um, And I'm using the Starry Night, um, Starry Sky ink because of I pulled it out of the paper and I pulled our card base out of the paper, the Fresh Freesia. I say it all the time. That's why I joined Stampin' Up because the color coordinates so well. The paper coordinates with the ink, coordinates with the embellishments. And it just keeps me on track that way.
So over the years, I've built my collection. I have all the papers and all the inks, um, but I didn't do that overnight. I've been doing this for 10 years now, y'all. This is going to be my uh, 10th year with Stampin' Up. So it is, um, it's just so fun. I really enjoy it. Okay, now we're going to do our stamping. I'm going to stamp our cute little ballerina hippo. And I forgot to get some white. Here we go. Um, I hate to use this big piece too, but we will. And I'm using Memento ink because I'm going to color these with my Stampin' Blends. And I don't want my outline to... Um, smear or bleed and I'm using light and dark fresh freesia and light smoky slate I believe no light gray granite the gray granite was lighter than the um, smoky slate so I went with the, the lightest gray and I'm just gonna color my little ballerina in here soon as I get off of here, I don't know what's going on. I think school starts on Monday in Missouri, most schools here in Kansas City, and um, I think everyone's going out of town this weekend because I called um, two kennels, my vet and another kennel, um, and they're full this week. So I'm going to go tour. A little place it sounds wonderful and I think they don't have anything to hide if they are offering me to come tour but I have made a reservation for little Maggie and Soxy we're going just for a short little trip to Springfield um, for Father's Day I got Bruce tickets to John Christ I don't know if any of you are familiar with him he is a, a comedian and he is playing at a club down there. And I thought that would, that's the closest place to Kansas City that he was going to be. So we are going to go um, watch him for Father's Day. So it's kind of a little father, late Father's Day gift. Okay, I'm painting her little fingernails with light, fresh freesia. And her little ballet slippers. I think I did her ballet slippers in dark, but we'll see. They're so cute. And then her little leotard. I'm going to do her tutu in the darker Fresh Freesia. And I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just, I didn't do any shading or anything else. I'm just coloring her in. And I like to use my Stampin' Blends because you don't get the brush marks that you do with the markers. The, the Stampin' Write markers, you get kind of the brush marks because they are water-based. This is alcohol-based and I don't know what their magic. I don't know what it does, but it kind of... Um, it just blends into it, it itself so that you don't get the brush marks. So when I'm doing a lot of coloring, I like to use the Stampin' Blend. Make her fingernails a little darker. There. Maybe I'll do her little ballet slippers. There we go. Okay, we're going to cut her out with the die. And everything else I went ahead and cut out for us. 
so you don't have to, you guys don't have to watch me do all that. This is the one. She's so cute. One of my granddaughters is in gymnastics and one is in um, dance. So I could use these cards for both of them. I'm considering putting together some little happy back to school baskets for them. Um, but if I do that, I need to get busy with it because my I have to mail one out of town now. So I might just have to send her a little surprise from Amazon. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut that out with my little mini. All right, and now we can just put, put our little card together. So one of the dies is this cute little... Um, where are my dies? Here we go. I think it's a little bathtub or bucket <laughs> because um, there are, let me find it here. There's a little boat, a little bathtub, some splashing. But if you turn the bathtub upside down, you can, I think it looks like a circus, you know, one of those circus things. I don't know what they're called, where the, the guy stands on it. <laughs> and I'm going to flatten these all on the paper with adhesive because uh, when we fold it up, I didn't think it would be good to um, have dimensional dimension under them. So I cut out the little um, bathtub. Um, I'm going to add a little flower to her behind her ear. We can do that real quick. I have gotten too much glue there. I don't want it to cover up her little eyes. Here we go. And I cut the little um, tub out of the fresh freesia. The little flowers I cut out of um, the calypso coral that, that I pulled from the paper. She's just kind of balancing there on her little platform. <laughs> and she's holding a little heart. Pull her over a little bit so there's more room for the heart. Oops. And then I've got this little stem of grass. These are all dies that are included in the um, set. And then I'm going to put a couple more flowers down here. She's obviously performing outside, right? Whoops. And then I am going to add some rhinestones. Hold on. <laughs> I was working at my desk this morning instead of my work table. The chair over there is much more comfortable than my stool here. I need to get one of those um, cushions for my stool. So I'm going to put one of these little uh, rhinestones right on her flower. Here we 
and these flowers. And we have a little, oops, a little sparkle. And that's it. Now, the heart die, boop, boop, has three hearts. Oh, here it is. There we go. So what we could do, you guys, I just dropped everything on the floor. <laughs> what we could do, I'm going to pop these out of here. I'm going to lose that die. And just put them up here. Need a lot of glue. Because she is just so full of love. <laughs> she has hearts dancing around her head. <laughs> there we go. So we've got the three hearts and the three flowers. That's kind of nice. I think that works out good. And that is the card, but think about all the different kinds of cards you could do this way with the um, accordion style. Um, I think they're so cute. And don't forget that they do fit into our um, note card envelopes. You could certainly put it in a regular envelope, but they fit really nicely in the little note card envelopes. Um, I'm not sure you can mail these in the mail, though, anymore. Um, I think someone mentioned that we couldn't. I don't know. I need to look that up. I should know that, but I don't. Okay, so that's our card. Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, that will be it for the week. I'll be back Monday for Make It Monday. And, um, yeah. I'll be back and I'll have stories to tell about my trip. <laughs> you guys stay safe and happy stamping.